With a groan, the doors open, leading into a yawning darkness. This tomb must date back to when Beobab was young. Some arachnid servants. Destroy this interloper! Defeated my minions, but you are too late, you nettlesome wizard! I have stolen the essence of Zonga Zebu. I am now as powerful as any zebra king! <laughs> now to steal Zamunda's greatest prize! You trespass in the halls of the zebra kings of old! You treacherous jackal! I will destroy you!
thank you. I was confused by pain and anger. That selfish creature has sold out Zamunda to the Umbra Queen. You must help my people. The fiend Tsitsi has caused a deep shadow to fall over my son, Shakazibu. Take this weapon, the Quagga Blade, and destroy the evil vine poisoning the corrupted Baobab tree in the king's court. As you remove the Quagga Blade from its place of honor, you can feel a tremor of power running through it. Chased Zizi into the tomb of the Zebra Kings and then met the ghost of Zanga Zibu? If what you say is true, there is no time to lose. Run to the king's court and dislodge the evil spirit leeching life from the Baobab tree and Shaka Zibu. Zangazibu? No matter. You are too late again. I'll deliver this to the Umbra Queen and be rewarded. But you can dance with the greatest living zebra warrior. Prepare to have your staff splintered by Shaka Zibu, the greatest living zebra warrior. Wizard, use the Quagga Blade to strike the evil vine strangling the Baobab tree.
for saving Shaka Zibu. Your name will ring out in Zamunda until the sun burns cold. I am grateful for your aid, wizard. I have been a prisoner in my own mind for days on end because of that snake in the grass. Long ago, each of the four tribes was charged with holding back the darkness by Mel Ambrose and the Council of Light. We were each given a sacred artifact, golden shield, crown, swords, and amulet. I do not know what evil Sitsi plots with the Umbra Queen, but they have our shield and the lion's crown. I know Sitsi will go after the elephant's golden swords next, for I am a military genius. Tell my glorious wife, Queen Amale, the spirals are gone from my eyes. She will help you reach the elephants. You have brought the sun back into my life and lifted the clouds from Zamunda. The elephants still refuse to parley with us. They believe we are responsible for their missing prince. It is clear that Zizi and the Umbra Queen must be behind his disappearance with the rest of your missing class. Can you take a letter to Queen Ariana Silvertusk of the elephants telling her what we've discovered here? The elephants have closed the river. Find Captain Hannibal in Baobab. He owes me a favor and can get you to Stone Town. You looking for passage to the Elephant Nation? You want a fast ship? You never heard of the Zafarian Queen? Doesn't matter anyway, my boat's broke. I traded the broken boiler to a lunatic called Aesop Thornpaw. I think he lives out in the savannah. Look, kid, if you can get my boiler back, sure. I can take you up to Stone Town. I owe Amelie that much, at least. Jumbo! It's been a while, young wizard. What have you been up to? This useless broken boiler that rogue Hannibal traded me? I gave him good bill tongue for that. Wait, you want the boiler? That boiler is an art piece. It ties the lawn together. I couldn't possibly give it away. Trade for it? What a terrific idea. I hear the Darkman tribe have had a bumper crop from their garden. If you could get their chief to give you some vegetables. I'd be happy to give you this piece of junk, uh, my centerpiece. Jumbo, young wizard. You need some vegetables for that mischief maker, Aesop Thornpaw. He's not my favorite person, but you did us a good turn getting the garden growing. Of course you can have what you need.
What a great haul. The boiler? Sure, take it back to Captain Hannibal. Hey, you got the boiler. Nice work getting the boiler back. Of course, we still aren't going anywhere fast. Rusty thing is still broken. I bet the Baobab Library has a do-it-yourself book for fixing things like this. Go check with the librarian, kill him on Copperleaf, would you? And if you figure it out, please fix it for me. Hello again, young wizard. You need a book on how to repair a steamship boiler? Luckily, I have a few do-it-yourself books from Malibu. Just gathering those. Take what you need, and good luck. You skim the shelf of books and select one called Do-It-Yourself Steamship Repair. You follow the instructions. Step one, get a large pipe wrench, a heavy vise, and some copper coil. Step two, wind the heavy-duty copper coil into concentric stacked coils. Step three, use a do-it-yourself spell to fix the boiler. You fix the boiler? Great, kid. Don't get cocky. Looks like we're ready to set sail. Hop on the Zafarian Queen. Next stop, Stone Town. See, kid, the Safarian Queen sails smooth as silk. Welcome to Stone Town, the heart of the Oliphant Nation. If you ever need to go back to Baobab in a hurry, I'd be happy to take you. Amelie gave you a letter for the Elephant Queen. Take it to the Darajani Palace. Tell the guard you're an envoy from Zamunda. State your business, outsider. You have a letter from the zebras for Queen Ariana? I would take you to her, but if I leave my post, some of the Musuth berserkers might storm the gates. If you can chase some away, I could then let you in without worrying about my post. You want to see the wizard? Not without a royal order, you don't. Go tell Hathi the zoo he's closed. getting out of hand. Go back to the Darajani Palace and ask Queen Oriana for her royal ring. If you bring it to me, I can write a royal order.
Ah, young wizard, what have you been up to? You need my royal ring? Well, if it's for Hathi, I suppose. Here you go. Don't lose it. Well done. Now that we have the royal ring, I can write you a royal order. There's just one thing, but I forget what it is. Wait, I know. I never forget a thing. Some scoundrels broke into my tower yesterday and stole my pen and parchment. I need you to hunt these Musuth berserkers down and get my pen and parchment back. I do it myself, only, uh, they are dangerous. And parchment! Well done! I write out the royal order and I stamp it with the royal ring. Like so. Take this back to the zoological garden and demand entrance. Don't take no for an answer. Speak to that wizard. You again? What's this? You expect me to believe this is a royal order? Huh, I guess it is. All right, you can go in. Hey, I know you. You're that kid in the next class that everyone is raving about. Man, it's good to see a familiar face. This trip has been the pits. Bugs attacked us in the savannah, and again outside Zamunda. They caught Professor Unlilo and the others, including Prince Tiziri. I ran away until I saw a boat on the river. I told them my story, but the only words they heard were prints and zebras. They threw me into this place, a zoo. Can you believe it? Would you ask Queen Ariana to release me now that she's listening? You want me to release the wizard from the zoo? Let me think on it. Our wizard is fascinating. Did you know he loves peanut butter? Especially in one of those little hollow rubber toys. Loves it! The noise from the streets is distressing me. It just pains my head. The Musoth berserkers are getting worse and the Greyhorns are snorting and grunting and breaking things. Speak to Hathi, would you? It does seem to be getting worse up there, doesn't it? Things are getting out of hand. We need to get to the bottom of all this unrest. This is what I think you should do. Go into the street and teach those grey horns they can't carry on like this. Show them we elephants aren't ones to mess around.
queen has proven she is weak and surrounded by fools. We will not follow someone we do not respect. That sounds dire, but you showed them, eh? We showed those grey horns a thing or three, didn't we? The old tusk tusk trunk does it every time. But the grey horns are far from the last of it. And the sooth berserkers are doing incalculable damage to our city. I'm asking you to help get to the bottom of why they are so angry. Challenge a few to a duel. See if you can find any clues. Musuth Berserker you defeat drops a curious looking headdress. The gem adorning it seems to have some potent spell. What a curious looking headdress. I don't know what that is. I need you to take this headdress to the market. Maybe one of the merchants there knows what it is. I would start with the merchants Aziza Ruffoot and Shara White Tusk. See what they know. Jumbo, outsider. What do you have there? No, I've never seen that particular style of headdress before. It you need someone who knows outsider culture well. There is such a merchant, but I do not. I think she's called Kella something. You'll have to ask around for her. Hello, stranger. Are you buying or selling? Something else? Let me see that. What an unusual gemstone. It reminds me of something, but I cannot say where I might have seen it before. You need an expert in such mysteries. I've heard of a merchant called Long Thought. If you can find her, I bet she'd know. Jumbo, wizard. We don't see your kind around here often. Ah, let me see what you have there. I've seen its like before, but I confess 
I don't know where it comes from or who might have made it. The elephant you need to ask is Tala Snick Squasher. She knows everything. Can I help you? Jumbo, little wizard. Where in the spiral do you hail from? Beyond Wizard City? Most interesting. You're lucky you found me here today. I'm packing for a big expedition. The fighting and calamity do not agree with me. I plan to visit many spiral worlds to bring back new wares. Marleybone, Mushu, Avalon, Polaris, all the common stops. But you have been diligent in your efforts to find me, so let us see how I can assist you. Yes, this headdress is not of elephantine make. It tugs at a memory, but... You see how it is damaged here? If you could recover several more, I would be better able to determine its origin. Please, treat with the berserkers for them. Let us examine these more closely. Yes, I am confident now. These gemstones only come from the Drum Jungle, a wild region dominated by black back gorillas. Have you met any yet? They have long kept themselves away from Zafarian politics. There is a merchant who delves deep into the Drum Jungle and brings back all manner of mysteries. His name is Bella. It is said he does his business across the river. You should ask Captain Hannibal One Tusk to help find him. Hey, kid. How's it going? You're looking for Belloc? He's a shifty sort. We need to see if the Greyhorns will let us sail upriver. Go discuss it with the Greyhorns near the bridge. Don't be afraid to use your tusks if you need to.
bested us, but you still can't get past us on the river. Nut! I was hoping they'd let us sail. The Safarian Queen is too big a target if the Greyhorns won't let us pass. They'll blow us out of the water. But I know how we can get you by them. I've got a buddy in town. He has a small rowboat. That should work for you. Head into the market and look for my partner, Sabaka. Uh, lions don't scare you, do they? <laughs>